on my arm. This is everything I've ever wanted. Hi, I'm McKenna Grace, and I have been told that this is gonna be the best interview ever. And I really think it's going to be. This is gonna be so cool. Let's get started. Now, we've heard that you were inspired by Pee Wee Herman and Shirley Temple when you were little, so yes. would you rather do this interview in a Pee Wee Herman bow tie or a Shirley Temple wig? I think I'm leaning towards the wig. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm already gonna ruin my hair and the interview has just begun. Oh yes. I thought that she was an incredible actress and I loved all of her stories. Are you sure you can get along without me? I'll try. You've been rereading the Harry Potter books. Which house do you belong in? Gryffindor? Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? I already know. Hufflepuff! <gasps> You're like my best friend today. <laughs> I'm loving it. It matches the chair and everything. It's wonderful. What do you like most about your Troop Zero character, Christmas Flint? There's just something about her. She's so quirky and weird. It was really fun to get to play her. I think you'd like me. I think you'd want to be my friend. Since you grew up in the great state of Texas, Texas Longhorns or Dallas Cowboys? Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not a sports person. I'm just making a random guess. Longhorns, I suppose. I believe you have some cheerleading experience as well. Oh yes. <laughs> Go football team that I don't really know about. <laughs> I love it though. Speaking of Texas, Whataburger or In-N-Out? Ooh, I like Whataburger. <gasps> I'm sorry, Shirley Temple, <laughs> but oh yes. What's your order? French fries and a grilled cheese. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't get any burgers. I've never had a burger before, actually. <laughs> Who's one actor you're dying to work with that you haven't yet? Probably Meryl Streep and or Tom Hanks. Everybody wants to be us. I love watching them like transform into different characters. That's all I have to say about that. Would you like to sing your next answer with a ukulele or a keyboard? A ukulele. Oh, and it's blue. Thank you. What was the first thing you did when you found out you'd been cast in Ghostbusters Afterlife? I was on the phone with Jason Reitman and I cried Cause it was the coolest moment of my life <laughs> Speaking of Ghostbusters, Proton Pack or Birdie Scout Sash? I really love the Birdie Scouts and I love Troop Zero. Yeah, I know that. But, a Proton Pack. <laughs> Killer replica. A replica of what? Oh, oh yes. And it has like the ribbon cable and everything. <gasps> Who are you gonna call? Me, because I have a proton pack now. <gasps> it has a gunner seat? Which classic camp food would you prefer? Puppy chow or s'mores? S'mores. Oh yes. I've watched these interviews before and I, I see the people getting desserts and I'm like, why are they not eating it? Desserts. Since you've played the young version of both, whose cat would you rather have? Captain Marvel's or Sabrina Spellman's? <laughs> I think Sabrina's because it's a black cat and I love black cats. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's its name? This is Midnight. Hello. <gasps> purring so loudly. I've never had a cat purr at me. <laughs> Such a pretty kitty. Okay, has this been the best interview ever? Yes. But that doesn't mean it's over, right? We actually do have another kitten here with us as well. Would you like two kittens? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is like the best day ever. Please don't let this interview like ever end. I just want to sit here. S'mores. 